Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be diving into the world of massive dam failures caught on camera. From the tragic collapse of the Bermondino Dam in Brazil to the devastating failure of the Xinfa Dam in China, these events have left a lasting impact on the communities affected. We'll also take a look at the infamous St. Francis Dam failure in California, which remains one of the worst dam disasters in US history. Join us as we examine the reasons behind these catastrophic events and the power of Mother Nature. The Bermondino Dam, located in the state of Minas Gerais, Brazil, was built in 1976. On January 25, 2019, the dam failed and released a large amount of mining waste, causing a widespread destruction and loss of life. The dam was operated by Vale SA, one of the world's largest mining companies. It was used to store mining waste, also known as tailings. The cause of the failure was a process called liquefaction, where the tailings in the dam lose strength and stability due to saturation with water. This led to a collapse of the dam's structure, releasing a large volume of mining waste. The disaster resulted in hundreds of deaths and displacement of thousands of people. The environmental impact of the failure was also severe, with the mining waste contaminating nearby rivers and affecting local communities. The Bermondino Dam failure was a tragic event that brought attention to the risks of tailings dams and the importance of proper management and maintenance of these structures. It was considered one of the worst mining disasters in Brazil's history and caused a significant damage to Vale's reputation. Next, the Xinfa Dam, located in the Xinfa Hydropower Station in China's Sichuan Providence, was built in the 1960s. On June 24, 2017, the dam failed, causing widespread flooding and destruction. The dam was operated by China Three Gorges Corporation CTGC, a state-owned company responsible for the construction and operation of several large hydropower projects in China. The cause of the failure was heavy rainfall, which led to a rapid increase in water levels in the reservoir behind the dam. This, combined with the dam's poor design and construction, resulted in the collapse of the dam's structure releasing a large volume of water and causing widespread flooding. The disaster resulted in several deaths and displacement of thousands of people. The environmental impact of the failure was also severe, with the flooding causing significant damage to the local ecosystem. The Shinfa Dam failure was a tragic event that brought attention to the risks of hydropower dams and the importance of proper design, construction, and maintenance of these structures. It also raised concerns about the rapid development of hydroelectric power in China and the potential risks it poses to local communities and the environments. Next, the St. Francis Dam, located in the San Francisco Canyon in California, USA, was built between 1924 and 1926. On March 12, 1928, the dam failed, releasing a large amount of water and causing widespread destruction and loss of life. The dam was designed and built by William Mulholland, a well-known engineer and the chief engineer for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. The cause of the failure was a combination of poor design and construction, including a faulty foundation and inadequate spillway. These factors resulted in a failure of the dam's structure, releasing a large volume of water and causing widespread flooding. The disaster resulted in over 400 deaths and extensive property damage. The failure of the St. Francis Dam is considered one of the worst civil engineering disasters in the history of the United States. The St. Francis Dam failure was a tragic event that brought attention to the risks of dam construction and the importance of proper design, construction, and maintenance of these structures. It also resulted in significant changes in dam safety regulations and oversight in California and other states. The disaster also had a profound impact on William Mulholland, who resigned from his position and never worked as an engineer again. Next, we have the Edenville Dam that's located in the U.S. state of Michigan on the Titabawassee River. The dam was built in 1924 and it was used to generate hydroelectric power and create a recreational lake. On May 19, 2020, the dam failed due to significant rainfall and consequent overtopping, releasing a large amount of water and causing widespread flooding. The cause of the failure was the poor design and maintenance of the dam's spillway, which was not built to handle the high water levels and pressure. Additionally, the dam had been flagged by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission FERC, as being in poor condition and in need of repairs, but those repairs were not carried out. The failure of the Edenville Dam resulted in the evacuation of thousands of people, extensive property damage, and an environmental disaster. The heavy rainfalls in the area also led to the failure of a second dam, the Sanford Dam. 
The disaster brought attention to the risks of dam constructions and the importance of proper design, construction, and maintenance of these structures. Next, we have the sayano Shashenskia Dam. The sayano Shashenskia Dam is located in the sayano Shashkensky Nature Reserve in Russia on the Yenetsi River. The dam was built between 1963 and 1978, and it was considered one of the largest hydroelectric power plants in the world, operated by Rus Hydro. On August 17, 2009, a catastrophic failure occurred at the sayano Shashenskia Dam, which resulted in the collapse of the turbine hall, killing 75 people and causing widespread damage. The cause of the failure was due to a malfunction in the turbine control system, which caused vibration and overloading of the turbine shaft. This led to the failure of the main shaft and the collapse of the turbine hall. The disaster was considered one of the worst industrial accidents in Russian history and the largest hydroelectric power plant accidents ever. The disaster brought attention to the importance of proper maintenance and safety at hydroelectric power plants. Rus Hydro, the company that operates the dam, faced significant criticism for its handling of the incident and for the lack of safety measures in place. The failure resulted in a significant impact on the local community and the environment, and the company was forced to pay large compensation. Next, the Teton Dam was located in the eastern part of Idaho, United States, on the Teton River. The dam was built between 1973 and 1976 as part of a Bureau of Reclamation project to provide irrigation and hydroelectric power. On June 5, 1976, the dam failed, releasing a large amount of water and causing widespread flooding and destruction. The cause of the failure was due to poor design and construction of the dam's earthen embankment, which was not able to withstand the high water pressure. Additionally, the Bureau of Reclamation ignored warning signs of the imminent failure and did not take any action to prevent it. The disaster resulted in the deaths of 11 people and caused over $1 billion in property damage, making it one of the most expensive civil engineering failures in U.S. history. The failure of the Teton Dam brought attention to the importance of proper design and construction of dams and the need for effective oversight and regulation of such projects. It also highlighted the importance of emergency preparedness and response, as well as the need for better communication and warning systems to prevent such disasters. Next up, the Baldwin Hills Dam, also known as the Beverly Hills Reservoir Dam, was located in the Baldwin Hills areas of Los Angeles, California, United States. The dam was built in 1941 as part of a Los Angeles Department of Water and Power LADWP project to provide water storage and flood control. On December 14, 1963, the dam failed, releasing a large amount of water and causing widespread flooding and destruction. The cause of the failure was due to a combination of factors, including heavy rainfall and poor construction practices. The dam's earthen embankment was not able to withstand the high pressure, and the spillway was not large enough to handle the volume of water being released. The disaster resulted in the deaths of five people and caused over $30 million in property damage. The failure of the Baldwin Hills Dam brought attention to the importance of proper design, construction, and maintenance of dams, and the need for effective oversight and regulation of such projects. The dam was rebuilt and reinforced, and today it serves as a recreational area for the community and visitors. Next up, it's the Lake Dunlap Dam Failure. The Lake Dunlap Dam is located in Texas, United States, on the Guadalupe River. The dam was built in the 1920s, and it was used to create a recreational lake and generate hydroelectric power. On May 14, 2019, the dam failed, releasing a large amount of water and causing widespread flooding and destruction. The cause of the failure was the deterioration of the dam's spillway gate, which failed to hold back the high water levels caused by heavy rainfall. The failure was caused by the lack of proper maintenance and repairs on the dam's spillway gate, which led to its inability to withstand the high water pressure. The failure of the Lake Dunlap Dam brought attention to the importance of proper maintenance and safety at hydroelectric power plants and dams. The disaster resulted in the evacuation of thousands of people, extensive property damage, and an environmental disaster. The disaster also highlighted the importance of emergency preparedness and response, as well as the need for better communication and warning systems to prevent such incidents. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.